Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here, and uh, this is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do uh, maybe a couple different videos, um, kind of about, uh, I'll just call it, this is, uh, you know, this is how I comic book, I guess. So uh, this one I'm going to talk a little bit about just what I, how I bag and board my books, how I started, what I do now. Um, maybe boring videos, but... Um, that's it. Just going to show you how I do things. I uh, watch a lot of videos and I've seen some things that kind of drive me crazy. Uh, whether it's, you know, sometimes you can see in the background of people's videos, uh, you know, stacks and stacks of comics of, uh, you know, of books sitting on top of each other like this. Boom. And like, you know, I've seen it where it's like almost, you know, a short box high. And uh, if Oh my goodness, I want to just send them a, I want to send them a box. Um, if you got to do it like that, you know, at least like this and then just stagger them. Every other one like this. So you got, you got a little less stress on the spine because those books are like, ah, right? They're killing them. Um, you know, and I know everybody doesn't think about those kind of things or care about those things. And, uh, I mean, I kind of didn't even pay attention to a lot of this stuff when I first started until the OCD about it started to kick in. And, you know, I just saw things that, you know, because I see potential in these books. There's, you know, even, you know, when you get a whole series, maybe it's not the best series in the world, but it's still something that somebody could enjoy. Get a few bucks for it. It's a beautiful thing. Um, this is a good hobby habit addiction to have I mean depending on what kind of person you are obviously but you know no drunk has ever been able to sell back his throw up or no crackhead has ever been able to sell back the smoke so I, I'm okay with it I, I love these things man and, I, and I'll tell you what I've been doing a lot less drinking I don't smoke crack but I've been doing a lot less drinking since I've been buying these because you know what I do I got it's like a new a new unit of uh, economics. It's uh, you know I look at something and I'm like, man, I'm like, that's like four or five comic books. Shit, that's like two and a half comic. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so funny. I laugh. Um, but so that's uh, yeah, that's what I think about that. And uh, oh, uh, another thing when you know sometimes people are showing their books, boom, they slam the book, and I'm just like, oh my god, no, it's gotta hurt so bad. They just slam that book down. But that's all right. Everybody does what they do. This is what I do. Uh, when I first started, you know, my comic shop was showing me the poly bags and the my lights. Um, this is one of the first, uh, it had to have been the first couple of months that I was collecting. Um, it, just because, you know, started off, the bags and boards I got, it left all, you know, it left about a quarter inch of room all around. And, and you can also tell because I don't have my, my flap that I make right there. So this is how I first started. And, you know, you, it moves around in there. And when it's in the box, you know, I didn't like that it basically settles and is flush with the board. So it's sitting on the box. And, and that kind of defeats the purpose, I thought, because... Uh, you want them, you you want it off it. So I went, you know, I noticed that, and I'm like, man, I don't like that. And uh, you know, another thing, because obviously you notice it moving around in there. When I would take it out, I would notice a black, you know, a black mark all the way down this side of the book. You know, it's thicker on the spine, so obviously there's more pressure. And I would just, I would take it in and out of the bag, uh, just the comic. And then I saw that, I was like, man, what the hell's going on? So obviously that's the back of the cover wearing off. Eventually, if it happens enough, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be noticeable. So I was like, well, shit, man, I don't like that. I don't want that to happen. So now I take the book and the board out at the same time. Um, it doesn't really take any steps away because when you, you take it out, you're going to read it. I set it aside. You know, if I don't finish it in one sitting, and then I got the bat, the comic and the board right there. When I'm done, boom, it goes right back in. Don't ever have to worry about that at all. Um, so, from this, I went to, and this right here is uh, Westward. This is a small press. Uh, this is Kinetic Press. 
I don't think I have anything else from it. This is a Kickstarter book, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this was really, really interesting, really cool. I've got uh, the first five issues. I'm not really sure if there's more. Uh, it's in my to-read pile. But uh, so then I, you know, I was talking with my shop, and you know, I found these. So you know, even when you know it's sitting for a while, you still got some of the board there at the bottom. So I, I like that. And and all this time, I was still getting my lights, and I was putting my number ones. I was putting my uh, variant covers and just the you know the books that I that were that are special to me. So uh, all my pull lists and everything went into poly bags, and then I had my nicer books in there. And uh, you know, the more of these that I got, sometimes the bags were not the same size. Sometimes there would be up to you know the bags would actually go up to this size, even though this bag and this one are two different companies. I think uh, I switched at that point, and uh, but still these were. You know, sometimes there would be that much room around the book on this. And I, man, I hated that. And it, you know, it was kind of like a waste, I felt. But, I, you know, I would still use it. And, and I was like, man, they're, I'm thinking about these my lights, and they're more expensive. You know you're going to have to change these out no, no matter what. I, I, I figure when you start to see the, looks like a fingerprint, a giant's fingerprint. Um, you know, it's starting to wear, and, and obviously it's already starting to go into the book, so if you can get something that is a little bit more expensive, that's quite a bit more expensive because it comes in half the amount uh, for more money. But uh, over the long run, it's, it seems like it pays off. Um, so the My Lights are going to last at least your lifetime, um, unless who knows what happens in the future. But uh, So then I started to change... You know, I, I said, all right, I'm going to do this. I, I, got a sh I got a whole bunch of my lights. Started changing all my back issues. Made sure that I had all my nice variants in my lights. And uh, all that time, you know, the books that I'm changing out, I would just use those for my pull list. Well, when I had all those done and I had all the back issues that I had already gotten from my pull list, I had all those in my lights. And then now, I guess that's all I get are the my lights. I, I don't buy any of the other ones. If you know, if I run out for a time, I got a I got a package right there that's uh, of the poly bags, so I at least have something to put them in. And then once I get my uh, my lights again, they go right in there. Uh, my whole collection is uh, you know I'm working on getting the whole collection in there. Um, and for me, you know, it's obviously preference, but. You know, for the my lights, and uh, this is one. This is a book that I just got. I'll show you. This is a uh, Gabriel Delato. I found. Uh, I got it for two bucks, and uh, Red Sonia number one. Uh, but you know, you don't ever have to worry about it. You know, e even if they're not quite the same size, because it's such a you know it's it's such a thicker material. It holds the book a lot better. It doesn't go anywhere no matter what. But uh, this is Red Sonia uh, Claw. Uh, this is number two. Really kick-ass Gabriel Delato. And I funch a, uh, found a bunch of other ones. Funch? Do you hear that? Uh, I found a bunch of other ones. Uh, I'll show you guys that in another video. But So I just wanted to show you the My Light. Um, so I went from this to this. Now everything is in the gorgeous My Light with the hellacious glare. Um, so I don't know. Oh, you know what I wanted to do at the beginning of the video? We'll do it, uh, we'll do something, it'll be an awesome close to the video. So that's what I'm going to do. This one will just be my, uh, you know, this is how I comic book, guys. My uh, bagging and boarding. Uh, but what I'll do is I showed this right here. I got this from In Stock Trades. This is Fragments of Horror. And I think there's going to be another volume of this coming out soon, I was told. Although it doesn't say volume one on here, but, uh, so this is freaking amazing. Look at this. And then I showed you guys, you can see... Yeah, you can see there's something, you know, it's like, you know, invisible. So I'm, you know, I was flipping through this, I was looking, and then, you know, I saw this here, look at that. And then, so I went to the other side, and I'm like, oh man, look at that, and I'm still looking, and you can kind of, you know, you can get it in the right angle to where you can see what's, what else is on this page, and then all of a sudden, guys, watch this. I said, you know what, this has got a jacket on it. Well, check this out. Oh, come on. Bada freaking boom. 
This is what is invisible on the front freaking cover, guys. Would you... Would you freaking... I hope you guys can see that. Am I in the way? But look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. I mean, it's just... This is what I was trying to show you guys. Freaking incredible. I mean, look at that. Ah, oh, all right, guys. So I hope you guys like this. If uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that uh, that you like this, and I'll I'll do another. Uh, you know, I got a couple other ideas of things that I'll do, and. Uh, I guess that's it. So uh, there's a lot of cool, uh, cool videos coming out today. So uh, and duh, this is happening on a New Comic Book Day. I uh, finished bagging and boarding my books. I got uh, actually a couple more to do. Um, finish those up, and then I'll do another video here soon, and uh, I'll get this one uploaded. So uh, happy New Comic Book Day to everybody. Peace, love, comics. God bless.